craziest bastards I've ever met in my life. I love everyone. Crazy bastards back here for Sons of Wrestling. And tonight we had a pretty goddamn good show. And uh, you got the reunion of EC3 Rockstar Spud. You got the fired Grado back as the great. Don't get me into that one. But the point is, we had some really, really good shit going on. And uh, uh, Mike Bennett was in there. Got the Decay and the Wolves Monsters Ball match. Stole the show, in my opinion. Just phenomenal. And uh, But we started off EC3 running into Dixie Carter. And she gives him his rematch next week in the Six Sides of Steel for his TNA World Heavyweight Championship against Matt Hardy. He thanks her, so we're back on that page. And he still has a little bit of that arrogance. And then he goes, uh, he needs to take care of some business tonight. Comes on down, and he did say he has ch had a chip on his shoulder for two and a half years. But now, he's got some other business to take care of. He definitely wants to take care of Matt Hardy, but tonight, he wants to punch Tyrus in the face. You got Tyrus and Matt Hardy. Well, a little bit of a beat down, but EC3 sends him packing. And uh, Matt Hardy says, uh, well, we'll have a tag match tonight for the main event. Get yourself a partner. And throughout the show, EC3 does not plan on having a partner. And he wants to go at it alone and take both these guys on. And uh, that's a pretty cool way to start things off. And um, I like EC3 standing strong in the middle of the ring. Hell yeah. Then we got EY. Thinks he's God, the king of the mountain, and this and that. Anyway, you end up with EY versus James Storm. And, um, of course, the outside interferences with Bram. And then eventually Rude. It just turns into a crazy brawl. And we get a double count out. And the brawl just continues and continues. So, hopefully we have some uh, continuation here going into next week. Spoiler free, folks. Don't let me know. Because I don't read the spoilers on TNA. Then we got Mike Bennett versus Mandrews and the cocky Bennett picks up the win hell yes and uh, well earlier you Drew Galloway had this is some kind of exchange anyway Galloway comes running down after Mike Bennett refuses to stop beating down Mandrews after he picks up the win and uh, Drew Galloway sends him running with Maria Canales but he's laughing the whole way so it looks like a feud right there awesome Hell yeah, I can't wait for that. And then that Monsters Ball match with the Decay and the Wolves. You got blood, you got tacks, you got chairs, ladders. You got everything going on, tables. And um, what I really, really dug at the end of this match, Rosemary goes to spray the mist onto Eddie Edwards. He catches her by the mouth, holding it in. Davey Richards sucks it out of her mouth, and then he misses her. And then this turns into... Um, Crazy Steve getting kicked in the head, dropped down onto a uh, chair, full attacks, and the Wolves get their championships. They retained them, but got them back finally. So, and uh, Biss is outside of the ring, just barbed wire wrapped around his arm, bleeding everywhere. This was badass. Go watch the match if you didn't see it. Uh, just killer. Yeah, I like the way Rosemary set up all the tacks on top of, I think it was Davey Richards. And he, uh, Crazy Steve goes to blast him in the head with another chair. Oh, just awesome shit. And good, awesome. And I'm loving the decay. What do you guys think of the decay? Comment below. And then um, backstage you had this one dude come. Uh, I know it's, it's that dude from fucking Ring of Honor. Um, I don't watch a lot of Ring of Honor myself, but I noticed the guy right away. I just seen that backstage segment and he's coming for Rosemary. They got some unfinished business or some shit. Comment below if you know the dude's name. I haven't had time to look it up, but I do remember he was involved in Ring of Honor. Uh, some, yeah, I don't remember. And I, like, I only watched like three episodes of Ring of Honor a year, so sorry. <laughs> then we got the Dollhouse Rebel, of course, ringside. and. Um, against Gail Kim, Madison Rain. This is after that a whole awesome Kong bullshit that happened. She was sent home and then fired. But uh, this is just turns into a uh, roll up victory for Madison Rain. Then uh, the dollhouse go to beat down Gail Kim, Madison Rain, Velvet Sky in for the save. We need some new, new knockouts, please. Because this same batch of girls intertwined is getting really old and boring. So that's just my opinion. They're great wrestlers, but it's time for some new knockouts. Then we got Eli Drake and Jesse Goddard versus Odar the Great and Mahabali Shira. 
Odark obviously is great, oh, and ridiculous that he is. Um, this is Eli Drake just pissed beyond because he was just fucking fired. So why the fuck are you there? Get out of there. That makes Feast and Fire, Feast or Fire, just absolutely no. There's no point in it anymore. You could just come back. So I could see the frustration if you were to go on that route. Anyway, Odar pulls his own mask off to really get under the skin of Goddard's and pick, or um, Eli Drake to pick up the victory. And then he goes and hides under the ring until he got his mask back to hide his identity. <laughs> <laughs> and Jesse Goddard just laughs at Eli Drake. So, maybe, yeah, eventually those two are going to feud, and that'll be pretty cool. Or they stay as a tag team. I don't care. Either way, they're both great talents. I enjoy both of them, especially Eli Drake. Jesse Goddard has improved a lot, in my opinion, over the last few years. And yeah, he's a great talent to have. Then you got <clears throat> the main event, Hardy and Tyrus versus EC3. And uh, eventually, you got Rockstar Spud joining the party, rightfully so. Those two were absolutely hilarious together. And uh, so if we get some more of that back, that's awesome. And like I said, EC3 hits the one percenter after uh, Spud took out Tyrus outside of the ring with a low blow. And picks up the win here, awesome. And then uh, we get a stare down between the two because EC3 really didn't want any help. He wanted to do this on his own, so Rockstar Spud rolls out, gives the moment to EC3, finishing off Impact Wrestling. Hell yes, guys. Comment below, hit the thumbs up, check out the merch, the Decay shirt that I created uh, it was a few weeks ago now. I had Rosemary actually retweeted it. She liked it, I guess. Then, um, yeah, let's look forward next week. Yeah, leave the lockdown.